Kentuckiana's most trusted source for weather, meteorologist Chuck Taylor, Ken Schultz, Beth Andrews, Reed Yates, and Chris Phillips. The WHAS 11 Storm Team. Well, the changes we have been talking about, well, they're underway. He started about 15 minutes ago, as a matter of fact. Here's next rad Doppler radar. The movement here represents about a 45-minute period. You can see the, really, the thunderstorm areas have, have been weakening in the past 45 minutes. Heaviest rain right now through the central part of Jefferson County. Raining very heavily at the moment out in the Iroquois Park area, getting some good rain down in Valley Station. Those up in the eastern part of the county, it's raining there lightly. The rains will increase in intensity before long. Temperatures tell a large part of our story at this hour. You can see it's still very, very mild, 60s all the way up through Columbus, Ohio, back behind the front. The front's going through Evansville now. They're down to 57 already. Out at St. Louis at dinner time when we visited with you, temperatures were 62. Now they're down to 49 degrees. We'll bring it a little bit closer to home and take a look at some Storm Team tracker reports. In Bedford, uh, Danny Baker reports 60 degrees. Butch Linhart in Jeffersonville, 64 degrees. And birthday wishes tonight. One of my storm trackers, Bill Newkirk, just talked to him. He says it's raining very heavily out in the Airquois Park area. It's 67 there and he says the temperature is falling even as we talk. 63 today, Bill. Have 63 more happy ones. Let's take a look at a, at a viewer net, live viewer net report. Wind shifting to the west out at Stewart Middle School, 10 miles an hour. Temperature reading there is 61 degrees. Our weather story is one of tumbling temperatures, really. We'll get the precipitation out of way. Really not worried about any severe weather overnight. 66 at the present time. That was our high today at the Weather Service office. The low, 58 degrees, just a trace of precipitation. The satellite images go into motion, and you can see the clouds build in. Some thunderstorms brew up out to the west, but with not a lot of heating this time of the year, they really don't get that much energy in them. They tend to die out rather rapidly. Quick look shows the cold front passing Evansville. It's on its way to us. We'll pass through here around 2 a.m., and with it, colder air moves in tomorrow. We'll have temperatures dropping into the low 40s by late in the day tomorrow. Now, here's the storm team forecast. This is the, why do I have to deliver the bad news here? 47 will be the high. We'll get that early in the morning. 47, the high tomorrow. Ugh, I don't like that compared to what we've had. 28 tomorrow night. Uh, in the week ahead, put a question mark on Thursday, if you will. Could get a r mix of rain and snow there. We'll keep our eye on it. But basically, you see temperatures more what you would expect in early January around here. Or what we dread. Yeah, really. It could be worse, though. Yeah, well, we I don't mean, have to get goodness. snow shovels out. Yet. That's right. Thanks, Reed.